Welcome to the video presentation of Stirling Bent Tube Boiler which is installed in a college laboratory MIT Pune. This boiler is installed in mechanical engineering department MIT Pune in 1991. The Stirling boiler is a water tube multi drum externally fired boiler. In our laboratory, the Stirling boiler consists of two drums. One is situated in upper side called steam drum and another one which is situated in a bottom side called water drum. Sometimes we call it as a mud drum also. It also consists of its bottom headers number of tubes which are connecting to drums, two burners and they are also connected with the superheater and economizer. This boiler is fired with light diesel oil. Yes. This video was taken during bare inspection of boiler for getting ABR certification. Let's have a look of video shoot. Here you can see the downside drum, it's called water drum here. So to this side, we can see here two burners from which we are supplying fail here. This one is blower which supplies air in the furnace. You can see this is a setup of pump which supplies fail to the boiler. The various pipings also you can see for supplying water. These are the two bottom headers. You can see the two horizontal pipes here. is a bigger diameter vertical pipe through which we are supplying air into the furnace. Okay, here you can see the upper drum called as a steam drum here. And this vertical tank you can see here that is water tank for storage of water. Okay, from this tank only we are supplying feed water to this boiler. Here you can see the larger view of two burners. By using that knobs we can vary the fail supply. Okay, these are the tubes you can see inclined tubes which are connected to these two drums. The other two professors, Professor Ozerkar and Professor Thakar, are the coordinators for this bear inspection task. And you can see these are the bottom headers they are inspecting. This one is the water drum. See this number of inclined tubes connecting to these two drums. The upper side drum. 
There's a steam drum here. Here the back side of that drum you can see the number of turns of tubes. It's called as the superheater tubes. Once again you can observe these two headers connecting to two drums. This one is the pump which supplies feed water. We call it as a feed pump. It supplies water from this water storage tank to the boiler. water storage tank here you can see here the economizer tubes these are the number of turns of economizer, economizer tubes through which we are supplying water. This is the down header, downside header of economizer in which water supplied from pump enters. the top side of steam drum on which the various mountings are mounted once again you can see here a downside header of economizer tubes over these tubes a few gases are passing after passing through this economizer these gases are entering into the chimney here you can see upper side of steam drum This passage you can see through which the gases are going to pass. Again, here is the water drum. That, sorry, it's a water tank. Upper view, you can see how these tubes are connected to this steam drum. The 
these are the vertical pipes which are connected to the safety valve that is pressure control valves through this drum you can see the hole that hole we call it is a manhole man can enter inside for cleaning the drum okay, this is the view of super heater here these are the number of turns of tubes of super heater in which wet steam enters inside and it gets heated and the temperature increases and the steam gets super heated this superheated steam we are supplying to the steam turbine Closer view of superheater. This view is just back side of the steam drum. Here you can see the steam drum upper side. See how tubes are connected to the drum. These tubes are connected radially. drum you can see the positions of various mountings that are to be mounted on the steam drum temperature gauge now you cannot see here any mountings on this they are 
डिसमेंटल ऑल माउंटेन्स और डिसमेंटल फ्रॉम दिस ड्रम can see the upper view where you can see that feed pump down side okay these are the various gauges and this one is the pressure control valve this is spring controlled pressure control valves these are the three and these are the stop valves these three vertical valves you can see here these are the safety valves and the pressure gauges these are the mountings that are dismantled from that steam drum and you can see various connectors for connecting the pipes and all these are the stop walls 